Yay, it says I'm live. Hi, it's Lorraine Purcell. Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. Woo! Fairy Godmother Monday. I just came off a great walk and I just did a quick video over in my Hacks for Anxiety and Depression group. If you haven't requested to join and if you'd like support for like really getting out and staying out of the valley of despair and staying up on the hill where the sun shines, um, and understanding anxiety and depression, I invite you as part of my community to go over there and request to join. There are a few questions for you to answer. And as soon as you do that, we will accept you. So, um, yes, welcome to Fairy Godmother Money. This is Lorraine Purcell. I'm here with you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday over at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And um, I'm really excited to be here today because today I'm going to be talking with you about how to show up even if you're scared. Uh, what's the exact title? Stay the course when you're scared. Stay the course when you're scared. Because um, this is one of my favorite topics. I feel like, I, feel, I don't want to say I've mastered this, but I want to say I've done a really good job of showing up even if I don't feel good. <laughs> um, for one of the things is I've committed myself to Monday, Wednesday, Friday being here at 8 a.m. Eastern. I know people are waiting for me to be here. And so I can't flake out. I can't not show up. And so it's really allowed me to press through that thing, even if I feel scared, even if I don't feel 100%. And I just did a little live over in my Hacks for Anxiety and Depression group about how I was feeling shaky today. My body's feeling a little shaky. I feel a little nervous, uh, like I'm not sure what's going to happen, that kind of stuff. And uh, But it's not keeping me from doing what I know to do. And in fact, I'm finding uh, structure and security in doing what I know to do, like, you know, just going over and making my celery juice. I'm almost finished with it and uh, getting everything set up for my food today, um, a la Anthony William Medical Medium. So just taking care of me. Uh, I have my trainer coming over at 1130, and I'm going to ask her to come over an extra day a week because I want to up it a little bit, one day a week. Sometimes I'm able to, um, like, not do anything in between, which is pretty much what I did this week. <laughs> You know, it's like, okay, so I'm setting up the structures to help me stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. So here's the thing. When you know, and when you jump on, would you please uh, tell me, hi, Verna, tell me you're high, and uh, tell me that you're high, tell me that you're high, um, tell me that you're here so I can welcome you. That will allow Facebook to um, show it to more people. And would you please share with your groups? We are sort of depending on you for tagging and sharing uh, because we want to grow this message organically. My team and I want to share this message organically without having to pay for a lot of Facebook ads and doing all that stuff. So as you jump on, please tell me hi and that you're here. And also share with me what you might be hearing in this for you. I would love to hear that. So, um, yeah, my commitment. Hey, Georgia. Hi, Joey. I'm always so happy when Joey's here because he's like our um, mascot man. <laughs> I'll reply to you guys later. But um, anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm really, I, I have, I don't want to say mastered this topic, but I've done a damn good job of showing up even if I don't feel right, if I don't feel good, like I have commitments and I have to show up anyway. Like I have a big webinar I'm doing this Wednesday for a big company with 8,000 people in it. And I'm doing a live video for on Thursday for my Women's Self Love Journey program. And then Friday I'm doing not only the live stream, but I'm doing a three hour workshop on Friday night. This is the anxiety hacks workshop. So if you want to join us for that, the early bird is going off on Wednesday and it's going to more than double the price. So if price is an issue to you, I invite you to go over to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash anxiety hacks 
sign up while it's still on early bird because it's going to be going up to ninety dollars for the three hour deep dive workshop we're going to be going into um you know the basics of anxiety and then dealing with social anxiety that's one of the things that i happen to deal with um so uh yeah so we're going to be talking about that specifically as well as the basics of anxiety and you're going to be developing your own personal toolkit for your own personal brand of anxiety so you can have that and take it with you wherever you go and you will own the rights to watch the video in the unlisted link on youtube and um hey vicky and um and just use it over and over again so i love these anxiety hacks workshop we're getting a lot of great feedback from them and so that's your invitation, LorraineForSell.com forward slash anxiety hacks. I'm just going to put that in here. L-O, you can spell along with me, R-R-A-I-N-E-P-U-R-S-E-L-L dot com forward slash A-N-X-I-E-T-Y-H-A-C-K-S. And that is for early bird through this Wednesday. Right now it's $40 for the workshop. Did that post? Again, looks like it is. Right now, it's forty dollars for the three-hour deep dive. You're just going to really feel supported, and um, we have a lot of fun in there. It's in front of a live audience, small, tiny, intimate group, and then I have my live streamers too. So you're more than welcome over there. I just wanted to put that out. Um, yes. So let's take a deep breath and ground to Mother Earth. And while we're doing this, I'll be popping in with stuff on staying the course, even though you feel scared. So deep breath. Feel that grounding cord going down, 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 down to the middle of Mother Earth. Feel this intense support. Oh, my God. Can you feel it? It's coming on me. It feels so wonderful. Mother Earth is so loving and so compassionate. I love this practice. And just feel deeply what is her message to you. What is her message to you? What is Mother Earth's message to you? So I'm just feeling in for Mother Earth's message to me. <laughs> She's saying stay the course. Oh, that's hilarious. So um, if you want to drop it in the comments, it will serve everybody and let universe know that you are... Yes, 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 Vicki, yes, you've already got it. Vicki gets Mother Earth's message, I think, faster than I do now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drop it in. Mother Earth's initials are M-E. You can say whatever you want or you don't have to. Uh, just drop in what Mother Earth's saying to you. As it's a universal message, and it's small, it's short, it's sweet, it's supportive. And uh, mine, she's saying, stay the course. Yes, ma'am. And I think I've done really well like about that. Not that I haven't had my moments where I have wanted to fall down in a heap and give up. Those of you who've been with me a long time, I am, <laughs> yeah, Vicki, I am not ever hiding when I'm having a shit day, okay? I'm letting you guys know because I don't want you to think that you're alone or that there's something wrong with you if you have a shit day. But I'm going to be guiding you not in the we're not going to stay in the ain't it awfuls in my community we're going to go into the upward spiral even if it doesn't make a difference with how we feel we are going up 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 because you know what it doesn't matter what we're feeling although one of the the keys to the three keys to self-love is um honor your feelings that's a that's a whole different thing if you get the ebook at three keys to selflove.com you'll see that honor your feelings is just to check in. Is there a, you know, an abusive relationship, frankly, that I need to get away from or an abusive situation that I need to get away from? But a lot of times it's when we're feeling rocky, it's our inner guidance trying to tell us something. So that's what I'm all about is showing you guys the way out of the valley of despair. So. Ah, oh, staying the course. So while I'm blabbing, you guys keep connecting to Mother Earth and uh, getting your messages and feeling the support for Mother Earth. And then we're going to be coming back up to the bottoms of our feet. 
and honesty. Yes. Um, we are going to be, um, sorry, I'm going to move this down. Good morning, my babe. Um, we're going to be moving up our body quickly in a counterclockwise spin, getting our energy high and clear as much as you can today. And this is not a perfection thing. It's never, ever, 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 ever perfection here. So once in a while I touch it, not that I'm perfect, but I feel perfection, you know, in my environment or what I'm doing. So, um, I feel that a lot, in fact. So, um, we're, <laughs> then we're going to send your desires and we're going to spend time in the quantum field of all possibility with my magic wands. There's this. And hold on, I'm going to get my crystal ball. See, I am getting my act a little bit together. This stuff's right here on the table. So, um, yes, it's an amazing day because one thing I can say is that I am a very good, I'm very good at holding energy in the quantum field of all possibilities. And so many blessings have come my way because of it. And I want to share it with you because my first thing when I figure something out is um, to share it with you. I don't want to hog it all for myself. <laughs> That's no fun. I want you to win also. So stay in the course. Hope, yes. Stay the course. Resignate. Yes, 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 yes. So how do we MF stay the course when you don't feel good and you're doubting your vision and you're feeling afraid? How do you stay the course? Well, I'm just going to say, first of all, Diffuser going with peppermint. Oh, lovely, Vicky. That sounds like that's going to be so good for your lungs. Um, first of all, you do not have to feel it to stay the course. Here's the thing. Without a vision, the people perish. And you have been given a vision for your life. If you're in my community, if you've been watching my live streams, you know that you have a vision for your life. You know you do. It might scare the crap out of you, but you have the vision nonetheless, okay? And this vision is what keeps you going forward, keeps you going forward, keeps you going forward, even when you don't feel like it, okay? That's what staying the course is all about, even if you're scared. Today's an example. Uh, I feel a little shaky today, like not as confident as I normally do, but I'm not letting that getting, get in the way of what I'm going to do and what I know to do and that I know my, my vision and my purpose. It's like either you know your purpose and you're aligned with it or you don't and you fall on a heap and you, you know, wind up drinking beer and watching TV at night with, instead of, you know, feeding your soul and eating good foods and making yourself the best you can be so that you can show up for the reason that you know you're here on the planet for. Hold on, I'm going to take some celery juice. <laughs> take some. And I'll tell you, there are some days when I don't want to drink this. But I do it because I know the vision of where I'm going because of it. So what is your vision? I just want to invite you to check in with what is your vision? What is your vision? What is your vision for your life? Your vision is not some vain thing that you've been thinking of or you just thought up. God gives us the desires of our heart. God gives us the desires. He puts it there. She, whoever, universe, puts it there. And then that thing guides us. But then we have to show up in faith, believing. Whatsoever you ask in faith, believing will happen for you. So we can't go, oh, I don't feel like it today, so maybe it's not. Maybe I'm not so powerful today. It's like, no, you're still as powerful. In fact, here's what it really is when you're having a low day, like, like I am today, is you are building muscle. Like, how does it feel when my trainer comes over at 1130 and she's making me do planks and side planks and twisting planks? I mean, the whole thing, a lot is planks. Ugh. And so... Uh, you know, they hurt. They're not fun. But what am I doing? I'm building muscle. 
She can't believe how strong I am. I can't believe sometimes how strong I am. So staying the course, even if you feel afraid, you are build, building that muscle to sustain you for the long run. That just means you keep doing what you know is the right thing to do. And yeah, if you need to stop at Walmart and get a bag of potato chips because you just need some relief, I'm saying go for it. But don't stay there. Okay, it's been a long time since I've had to do that. <laughs> and I used to have eating disorders. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just telling you, it's going to get better. 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 It's going to get better as you stay the course and do the things that you know that make you feel good, that, that feed your body, get the rest that you need, go to sleep early. I go to sleep really early. I was in bed at 7.30 last night, maybe 7.15. Vicky, diffusion go. Okay, uh, it's amazing for this breathing through and out, out this day. Yes, sending out peace, love, and healing. Yes, we're going to be doing that too. To everything on our planet, be kind to yourself and everything and everybody. So let's go to let's go to the bottoms of our feet. We're going to do a quick counterclockwise spin up through our body. What we do with this is white light, pink light, gold light energy is going to go up through our body, just cleaning our almost sixty trillion cells, fifty plus trillion cells. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. So just, just picture in your mind, this is quantum mechanics. Picture in your mind that the centrifugal force of those fast turning bubbles are spinning out and spitting out anything like toxins in your body and everything. So it's just cleaning everything and aligning everything, alkalizing your blood and your body fluids. And if you have an owie, put your hand on it and just say, what are you trying to tell me right now? What do I need to do? Where am I not listening to you? Please guide me. Maybe put your hand on your heart. And, um, you know, see if there's a message. And by the way, let's do that. Check in with your heart. What is the message your heart is giving you? Mine's saying, be calm. Know that everything's okay. Drop it in the comments if you want to. Be calm. Know that everything is okay. Thank you. Going to my throat chakra. That's my throat chakra. This is your communication center. What's your throat chakra saying to you? Okay. Yes, 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 Vicki. Love, love, love. Throat communication. Still saying be bold. Okay. So throat. Be bold. Now I'm going to my third eye. Stay connected. I abbreviate third eye with, um, hey, Dee Dee, nice to see you. Yes. I was just talking to uh, somebody in the UK this morning and uh, she was asking me how things were in the US and I'm like, they're balancing out, they're calming down. But as usual, the media is exaggerating everything. Nothing's going on in my life. Nothing's going on in my neighborhood. Nothing's going on in anything I'm seeing. So, um, so the third eye is saying stay connected. And when it says that, it's stay connected to my body. So, um, yeah, things are well here in the U.S. for those of you who... I mean, the, the stuff that's going on that the media is exaggerating, hey, Dee Dee, um, and I'm, I'm always going to say that the, the media is exaggerating. They will exaggerate. See, here's the thing. Abraham says that politics are as important as a little, I've been wanting to say this, politics is as important as a little tiny flea on the back of a great big dog because it's all about our inner ecosphere. And that's what we are getting right now in this high and clear state to send out into the quantum field. Yes, exactly. Turn the news off and eat. <laughs> yes, turn the news off and eat. <laughs> yes, eat cookies. <laughs> yes, Dee Dee. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I just don't, 
looked because it upsets me and I know it's an exaggeration and it's there to upset me and I don't like being manipulated. I learned that from being manipulated my whole life and when I smell manipulation, I get really mad and I go away from it. It's like, no, I get stubborn. It's like, no, not doing that. You will not manipulate me. So, um, yeah. And it turns out that my perception of reality is the way it actually is for me. Okay, so here we go. Let's just align quickly our left and right hemispheres of our brain. I'm just getting that right now. Healthy ones, of course. <laughs> yes, Didi. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now our energy is high and clear. Even if you don't super feel it right now, I want to invite you into your vision, the, the vision that you have for your life, something that you want to manifest, something that makes you feel good when you think about it. Maybe it's just the love of your puppy or the love of your kitty. And you just, you just hold it to your chest and you just know they're always there and you just love them so much even though they're annoying sometimes or, you know, whatever it is. So you're feeling good. You're feeling juicy. You're feeling like, yes, be in this state. Be in this state. And then, um, sorry, I just lost it for a second. I was just thinking, oh my God, I forgot I had a 930 appointment. I was going to take a shower in between. All of a sudden my mind's going, oh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so where was I? Yes, yes. Bring in something that just feels so good. Maybe it's the deepest desire of your heart. I want you to feel it as if you are in the middle of it doing it. This is what, this is the language that the universe understands. Okay, so if you're feeling scared and you spend time languishing in that energy of feeling scared, universe is going to send you more stuff to be scared of. Not really what I'm wanting. So uh, what is the thing that you desire? Like, I'm just I'm just loving thinking about um, my mission on the planet. And this going out to millions of people and this message influencing millions of people who have anxiety and depression to that they don't have to believe the thoughts in their head and that millions of people are going to have the light bulbs go on for whatever stage it is for them in their life. And those who really hear my message will come into my programs and I'll be able to serve them and then they will heal well, we can't say heal with depression or I could get cut down by the FCC. So I don't want to say that, but they will be able to manage and deal with understanding what anxiety and depression is. And then they will go forth and share it with more people so that people can get off of medications and can just have their, their life. Now, there's nothing wrong with being on medication. I want to promise you, do not promise me, do not get off your meds, do not get off your meds, do not get off your meds. If you want to get off your meds, I had professional help to get off my meds. I was on Zoloft for 18 years. I've been free of it for eight years. It's, it's glorious. So just ask your doctor, what is the protocol for me? It took me nine months to get off of a 100 milligram tab. So it was very, 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 very slow. So be sure you consult your doctor for that. Um, but that's my vision of having huge impact because I believe my story is very worthwhile and can really help a lot of people. So that's what I'm feeling good about. So what is your vision? If you want to drop it in the comments, that will help universe go, hey, you're showing up, you're being, you know, uh, you're being visible, even though you're afraid of being visible, you're being visible. And um you know, I'm, I'm doing this deal. I'm doing it scared. I'm doing it scared. In Florence Scovel Shin's book, it says, man is God afraid. Man is God afraid. So if you want to drop your vision in the, com in the comments, this is a safe place to do that because nobody here is going to pick on you or bully you or say anything. We That's only happened twice in the you know, Vicky, I was thinking the other day, oh, Vicky's not here now, but um, it was, uh, I think I've been doing these live streams now for about three years. 
because I came across the United States November 7th. I arrived in South Carolina. Yeah, so it's been a year, three years since I've started my trek from North Dakota in my little Jeep to wherever I am now, South Carolina. And um, I think that's pretty much when I started doing live streams. So I've been doing, I've been showing up live, whether I felt like it or not, since for th the last three years, okay? So we're going to take this energy of your vision. What's your vision? It just feels good. And just feel the feeling as if you're doing it in the quantum field of all possibilities. I am your fairy godmother with 25 years of being a counselor and a coach, helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the world. I have earned fairy godmother status. And so I am your fairy godmother showing you how to make your dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. Quantum mechanics says, quantum, the law of, of quantum, quantum law says that whatever you focus on expands. Whatever you focus on expands. So if you're focusing on the ain't it awfuls and the fear and the worry, you're going to get more to have ain't it awfuls, fear, and worry about. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> Pardon me. But all you have to do is have the courage to dream again. Dream again, feel again. Feel the feeling of this dream coming true and you are in the middle of it doing it right now. Just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel it in every cell of your body. Enjoy it. Get off on it. Just love it, love it, love it, love it. Please tag and share with your groups this live stream, if you would, so we can get this out to a larger um, audience. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, so, yeah. Anyone you know who needs this message, who wants this message, please drop it in your groups. Help us share the, the message organically. Because you know what? We're going to do this together. If this, if these live streams have helped you, I really ask you to help us out with this because we're loving this. We're loving getting this message out there. It's helping so many people. It's helping my team actually, which is really awesome. So feel the feeling of you being that powerful to have the thing that you see in your mind's eye. What is that thing? And just feel it as if it's happening right now. If you're in a place where you can't think of anything right now, just, just remember a time when you felt good. Because all that matters is that you feel good. The most important thing is that you feel good. That's what Abraham says. The most important thing is that you feel good. So what do you need to do to feel good? What do you need to do to feel good? What do you need to do to feel good? Just do it. Just do it. Whatever feels good. That's all that matters is that we feel good. Because when you feel good, then your thoughts start mellowing out. The rocky seas start calming down. And if you're in a day of, of rocky seas and choppy waves and you can't do anything about it, just keep going through the day. Keep going through the day. You might need to take a nap. You might need to take a little rest. You might need to make yourself some nice food, take a nice bath, be gentle with yourself. But the most important thing is to just keep staying the course and not make it mean anything. Just don't make it mean anything about you. Just find something really good to just feel right now. What do you want to feel? Do you want to feel powerful? Do you want to feel expansive? Do you want to feel happy? You can just imagine that you feel happy. You can just imagine that you have love all around you. That's all it takes. It's just that imagination. How do you want to feel? Just imagine it. Like I can say the word bliss. Thank you for reminding me, mind. I can just say the word bliss and imagine it and start to come into that because I have felt bliss so many times. I found the doorway to bliss. <sighs> yes. We are in the quantum field always. It's what we are focusing on that expands. So be very careful where you put your mind, where you put your focus. So what is that thing? Feel it in the quantum field of all possibilities. We are sending this now beautiful energy into the quantum field. Mm. 
The quantum field is where you are nobody, nowhere, with nothing, in no time and no space. So what that means is that you are one with everything, everywhere, every time, with everything. You're one with it because you really are one with it. In case you didn't know, you're one with it all. We're one with our brothers and sisters around the world. Even the ones that are acting out right now and expressing through their short throat chakra, going from their head down to their heart. This is what the fifth dimension and the ascension of the planet is all about. People coming out of their heads and into their heart. But of course, you have to go leave your head. You have to get through your throat, which is everyone acting out and screaming and you know being mad and blah, 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 to get down to their heart. I just support them and I send them love. Okay, so just this is my invitation to stay in this soup. This is heaven. This is heaven. When you can step into these moments and feel this, it's heaven. This is heaven here. It's heaven. And some people will make it into their hell, but maybe it's just their hell while they're on their way to their heart space so they can open up to a bigger place. So we, we have no judgment on them. Um, I was sending some love to some people today, political figures that, you know, when I even see their face, my stomach starts to turn. And um, I just am sending them love. They need love too. And honestly, whatever, whatever is in them is also in me too. It's the human condition. So sending everybody love. Okay, once you get into this space, we're going to send this beautiful energy out to the entire planet. And just remember these tools today and forever that to make your dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibility, all you have to do is focus on what you want to create, what you want to have in your life. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And you feel great while you're doing it. So right there, that's heaven in itself. All right, so now in this beautiful energy, we're just going to send this out to the entire planet, our 8 billion brothers and sisters, which means the ones in the womb and the ones waiting to come in. We're seeding the territory. I'm sending this beautiful white light energy all over the planet, all over the world. I see people just going, oh. Wow, this burden just lifted off of me. I see them feeling that. I see that happening for them. I see it. I see it. I see it. All over the world, people's burdens being lightened. Thank you for joining me. Hari, I was thinking about you the other day. Thank you for showing up, Hari. So good to see you. <laughs> yes. Now, Hari's a good example. He had COVID. He's fine. Don't let the media freak you out. Okay. And we have another person in this group who has it right now, and she's doing fine. Don't let the media freak you out and make you lose your center. I'm going to draw a card from Rebecca Campbell. See what she's got for us today. Woo! Yes, yes. Everyone just say yes, 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 yes with me right now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I say yes to life. I say yes to life. I just say yes to whatever shows up in my life. I am available for life. Use me, God, in a way that delights my mind, body, soul, and overflowing bank account. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for using me. Thank you for showing up for me when I show up for you. Okay, which card is it? It's third from the top. Ah. Huh. Oh, this is good. Who is this resonating with? Take a break. Can you guys see this okay?
take a break. It's, uh, he, she says, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. I got off the treadmill a long time ago. What was it? Take a break? Yeah, take a break. So maybe you just need to take a break today. Maybe you've been working too hard. Let's see what it says. Take a break. 68. I have a feeling there's somebody this is really speaking to out there. Joey, is it you? Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. It's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations. To take a moment from your busy schedule to get off the treadmill of life, to appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created, achieved, released, or experienced before rushing on to the next thing. That's a good one. Celebrate yourself. Yay! Uh, to be in the moment, to enjoy where you are, to take a breath and regather your mind, body, and spirit, to recalibrate, appreciate, and celebrate. Oh, I love that. Recalibrate, appreciate, and celebrate. To decide what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. And that's good. If we take a moment, we are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or just been burning the candle at both ends. Now is the time to take some time out before rushing on to the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on vacation, book a massage, take long walks in nature, go away for the rejuvenate, for reju <laughs> rejuvenating weekend and recharge and replenish. <clears throat> Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, my loves, I uh, want to show you Mr. Potato Head real fast. I was showing you my sweet potato that was sprouting that I decided to buy at Whole Foods just for the plant. And now I'm looking for some terracotta pots to put them in outside. Hold on, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> and so this guy has grown. He's like taking over my house. <clears throat> I put him in water two weeks ago and look at him. <laughs> two weeks ago. So he needs to go in the ground. I'm thinking, okay, organic soil and I'll grow my own sweet potatoes. I eat a lot of them. So I wanted to share that with you. I told you guys I would. All right. Well, this is Lorraine Purcell. I'm going to wrap up for today. Uh, love you so much. Thank you for being the most important part of my life, my community. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for supporting everybody. Whoa. Okay, now listen up. Hari just said that he used only homeopathy and cured himself of COVID. Hari, you're amazing. Joey, possibly, yeah. Georgia, it's me, yeah, <laughs> as well as anyone else, but definitely me. Yes, Georgia, wow, right? He has just taken over. I need to get a pot for him now. I mean, look at how much his roots are filling this thing up. And he's like gulping up about a half a cup of water a day. <laughs> so I love you, I love you, I love you. Go and make it an incredible day. Sleep well if you're in Australia. Wherever you are in the world, just make it the most incredible day. Have the most incredible, um, most incredible evening. You are so welcome, Dee Dee. Thank you for showing up here. Um, I'll be here with you Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's coming up. Uh, let's see. Okay, on Light and Love Wednesday, 8 a.m. Eastern, right here, we're going to talk about shine light in dark places. And on Body Talk Friday this week, it's In a Noisy World, Hear Your Inner Wisdom. Oh, these are my favorite topics. Okay, so remember, Early Bird goes off Wednesday for Anxiety Hacks Workshop. Go to LorraineGrussell.com forward slash Anxiety Hacks to register for that for more than half off. It more than doubles on Wednesday. 
and i put that link somewhere in the comments so you can find that join us for the three hour deep dive workshop that's going to completely support you with your anxiety we had one participant last time who said that right after the workshop she went to work and she had no anxiety when normally she's filled with anxiety so they really work they really work and then you have the the private unlisted link to the video um forever okay i love you have a, an amazing day and i will see you in a couple days if not before bye bye tag and share this with anybody you know who needs it or wants it we want to share this message around Take care. Bye-bye.